Dry Valley basically wrapped up the MVL title last week with their win over Sheridan, but that assumes they don't slip up anywhere along the way, and that could very well happen this Friday night against John Glenn. I'm Noah Wolf, the co-host of the 20th season of Gridiron Glory. I'm joined by MVL reporter Joey Medor. We're breaking down this Friday's matchup between Tri Valley and John Glenn. Let's start with the Little Muskies. Kind of a slow start to the season for them, but they've picked it up. They've got a winning record in conference now. What's going on with them? Well, no, if you would have asked any players and coaches of the John Glenn Little Muskies before the season started, they definitely would have said, we're trying to get back to where we were last year and make another run at the playoffs. But right now, they're on the outside looking in on their region. And what would be a better way to get back into the hunt than a big win over tri Valley, the undefeated, who looks like they're going to be the conference champs. So it's going to be a big game for them on a Friday night. What do you think they have to do to get the win this Friday? I think that they need to control the tempo of this game. They can't get into a shootout with the Scotties. The Scotties' offense is too high-powered for the Little Muskies to hang in there with them. They have to control the clock, slow the game down, control the tempo of the game. So what's Tri-Valley's strategy going to be to win this one? They just barely scraped out that overtime victory over Sheridan. How are they going to stay undefeated this week? Well, I think Tri-Valley's defense proved just how good they are slowing down such a talented player like Ethan Heller last week, holding him to just 13 points in regulation. Then he got the touchdown in overtime in the 20-19 win. But yeah, I think the defense is going to carry the squad. Noah, I'm interested to see who plays quarterback for the uh, Scotties this weekend. Luke Fargus was the main quarterback for most of the snaps, but it was sophomore Aiden Fritter that took the majority of the snaps on Friday night in the big win. He led the team in rushing and passing. So it's going to be interesting to see who is taking the majority of the snaps on Friday night. So what's your prediction? Well, even though John Glenn is at home and they need a big win, I still like the Scotties in this game. I think they're going to prove that continue to prove that they're the top dogs in the conference. Well, if they do that or if they don't, the highlights will be for you on WOUB at 11.30 p.m. Friday night for the latest episode of Gridiron Glory. But in the meantime, don't forget to catch up with all of our social media content, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube, and all of the content on our website, woub.org slash gridiron. For Joey Medor, I'm Noah Wolf.